Hey guys, Anthony here. It is uh, August 1st. It's August 1st, 2023. It's Tuesday. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, self-aid kits or first aid kits. There's a lot of kits out on the market you could buy, you could purchase. Uh, Pre-made kits, um, you know, boo-boo kits, all the way up to kits where you have tourniquets and can respond to scenes with, you know, lots of blood and injuries. So there's a whole host of kits from many different companies being offered out there. I like to put together, I do have some of those kits, and um, but what I like to do is I like to put together my own kits. This is one of them here. I've had this kit in this particular uh, Pelican case. This is a Pelican 1020 case. I think you could see that right there. And um, it's roughly like five, five inches by three inches by about two inches thick uh, here. It's watertight. It's got a little carabiner so you could hook it to your pack or uh, onto your belt or belt loop or whatever. Or you could put it in a car and uh, it's, it's got a hard case so it's, it's not going to get damaged. So I carry this uh, sometimes in my vehicle. Sometimes I'll throw it in a pack. Uh, I have it like an everyday pack that I carry with some other items in it that I'll do a video on and I'll throw this in there. This is this is basically like a boo-boo kit. Uh, it has uh, band-aids, gauze, a little scissor, some uh, antibiotic, triple antibiotic ointment. It's got some headache medicine, some diarrhea medicine, um, uh, some Tums or Pepto-Bismol for like upset stomach, and uh, a cigarette lighter, uh, antiseptic wipes, you know, the basics that you would find in a kit. And I build this myself. You know, so you could buy the box, buy the kit uh, on Amazon or wherever, and buy a Pelican kit, and you could build this yourself. You know, put some tape in it, some duct tape. Um, I've even had um, a plastic bag with some money in it. You could put some spare money. And uh, it makes for a good uh, everyday self-aid kit. I have another one that I carry in my in my van that's, um, I'll do a video on it. It's got all separate kit for just like everyday medicines, over-the-counter medicines that I have a bunch of different ones covering a whole gamut, you know, painkillers, aspirin, um, uh, Excedrin medicine, acetaminophen, uh, different uh, things like that in a little zippered pouch uh, that I could see through. And I've used that often. I've had a headache or something and I'm in my van, I'm out and about, I just go to that kit and I've got some over-the-counter meds. So I wanted to do this. Um, I know you guys are out traveling summer, you're camping, you're doing things. And on that note, just the other week, I don't know if you could see it right here, there's a little hole, little spot here in my arm. I was doing some work at my parents' house and I, I was doing some work inside and I noticed a lot of their hedges or bushes in the front of the house were way overgrown. So I, I decided to also trim those. In trimming and cleaning up the, uh, you know, the branches, they have a couple of these really thick thorned rose bushes in front of their yard. And I was scooping up, I had gloves on, but the gloves only went up to here. And I was scooping up some debris and putting it in plastic bags, you know, to be hauled away. And my arm went into the rose bush. And I tell you this, I'll take a picture of it. This um, thorn had to be, you know, at least a half inch thick, half inch long. It went right into my arm. And this thing, I don't know if there's, there's uh, bacteria on those thorns or some type of spores or whatever. It gave me a, an infection almost immediately. Uh, so the next day I ended up going to uh, urgent care because it was the area was getting, it was all bruised up. It was getting, you know, it looked like it was getting infected really bad. So I went to urgent care and lo and behold, I spent 10 days on uh, doxycycline uh, antibiotic uh, for this injury. And so I say this because, yeah, I had first aid. I, I cleaned it right away in my van. Uh, I put, you know, it was bleeding a little bit, not really much, um, but it felt like something was in my arm. It felt like a piece of the branch was like in my arm. That's the kind of feeling that it gave me. It was, it was really weird. And that's just one little
thorn prick. And we talk about SHTF and, uh, you know, preparing for all these things. One little, you know, one little thorn prick can put you out of the game. It gets infected and you don't have the capacity to, you know, get it cleaned right away and then take care of the after effects of that wound. You know, you could be in a lot of trouble if the grid was down or you couldn't get to urgent care or, you know, so just think about that as you, you know, put together kits like this. Uh, be prepared. Um, and I'm going to do another one on choking and things like that because I have grandkids now. And um, I just get really, I like to be really prepared uh, for unforeseen circumstances that could happen. And, you know, you don't have medical attention right away. You have to take care of it. You have to respond to it yourself. And so I thought I'd do this video just to give a refresher to people. Update your kits. Go through them. Make sure, based on what you're doing, you have the right things uh, to respond to based on your line of work, whatever it is. Uh, but this is just a basic self-aid kit, first aid kit that you can put together. It's just a sample of one. And I thought that would, um, I put that out there. And you guys can let me know maybe some of the kits you have or if you've built. And um, that would be good for the community to see that. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Take care and stay ready. Anthony signing off.